Good morning. It is Saturday, July 3rd, and it is about 10, 10 in the morning. We are just setting off on the approach trail for the Susquehannock Trail System. We are hoping to do the Susquehannock Trail System and the Black Forest Trail System all in one go. We're shooting for 140-ish total miles and targeting between seven and nine days. We'll see how it goes. Uh, got in this morning after driving partway last night, checked in at HQ, filled up our waters, and we are off. Okay, we have uh, completed the 410th approach trail and are officially at mile zero. Looks like it may rain on us a little bit this morning, but that's just to clear up by clear time, so we'll keep going. Maybe two, two and a half miles in, I think. Nice little views here. Trail's been in really nice shape so far. Uh, everything's a little damp, but nothing's too muddy. It's been really well blazed, pretty straightforward. About four and a half miles in. I'm gonna probably take a break here at about the five mile mark. But it's been really nice. Weather's been pretty perfect, a little humid, but mostly these uh, forest views. Trail's been really well maintained, no blowdowns, not too muddy, not overgrown. It's been a great morning so far. All right, it is just a little bit before noon and we have hit the uh, five mile marker. So I think I'm gonna take a little break here, get some water and a bar and wait for Eva. She should be not too far behind me. And so I'm just gonna take a little rest and uh, wait for her to catch up and then we'll game plan and go from here. six maybe seven miles in coming up on this cool bridge here looks like it is the Lehman run footbridge down the stairs in a hard left turn. Cool little campsite here. Actually, I might hang out here for a minute and see if people want to come out here for a while. It would be a little bit early in my But, it's a pretty cool spot. Hard to turn down water access in a picnic pool, so we'll see. All right, so we did decide to stop at this little picnic camp area. And so we are gonna have lunch for lunch today. I'm trying these new Green Belly meal to go bars because I hate stopping long enough to cook at lunch. And so I thought I'd try something different. And so trail food trials, episode two, here we go. All right, so since I didn't actually explain it last time, we 
we'll go through several different categories and the categories are in no particular order flavor texture ease or difficulty of preparation water use time to rehydrate if applicable cost and cost per calorie i think that might even be the right order so this one is today's is peanut apricot it is 665 calories i don't recall the price so i will put it up on screen i want to say they're about seven or eight dollars so a little bit expensive for a bar but a lot more calories for a bar um, and then i will put the cost per calorie up um, ease obviously five out of five no no water required no time required they're also split into two bars which i think is cool so you don't have to eat 800 or what 665 calories of dense bar in one go and the bag is resealable which is really nice um because having a sealable place to put your trash on trail is always good um and if you don't eat the whole thing you don't end up with crumbs in your pocket or in your backpack all right so here we go It's pretty good. I'm not even a huge apricot fan. Um, my first impression was it was a little bit dry, but then you get into some of the dehydrated, or not dehydrated, but dried apricots, and they're not completely dried. And that really helps out with the texture quite a bit. Trail peanut butter. Mm-hmm. And I like that. It's still moist from the apricots. It's dense, but it's not so dense that you feel like you're chewing forever. You're not scraping it. You're not scraping it off the roof of your mouth. Yeah, agreed. Not scraping it off the roof of your mouth. There's enough. Um, and it's not completely homogenous. Clip bars are kind of like, unless you get a special chunk of chocolate or a macadamia nut or something, they tend to just be like, all mashed together extruded into one bar this has some variety which i like um i would say this is the first green belly bar so subject to change but initially i would say probably probably a four and a quarter out of five it's not perfect it's not my favorite combination of flavors but i like it i'm not unhappy with it so we've got four or five other flavors of these that we will put to the test. And uh, at the end, we'll see who reigns supreme. Just leaving lunch, we got a little one log bridge here. Seems to be pretty stable. Will not be filming this as I do not want to end up in the water. In the middle of this uh, pretty long climb out from Lehman Run, this little guy. Look at how little and orange he is. He looks fake. Animal friend. Number one for this trip. Have a good day, little dude. All right, made it up that climb. Been up on top of this ridge here for maybe about a mile. And uh, it's been nice and flat and easily marked. It's uh, starting to rain a little bit. Supposedly when we stopped for lunch, it was not supposed to rain this afternoon anymore, but this morning there was supposed to be an afternoon storm, so I guess the update was wrong and the original forecast was right. I'm a little bit ahead of Eva right now, so I might hang out here a bit under this tree cover. It's not raining that hard, and I don't really want to pull out my rain jacket, but we'll see what happens. Um, other than that, that climb was... It got the blood pumping. It wasn't super steep. It was just relatively long and continuous. But, you know, after that a mile or so, we just got up here above this ridge and it's just been pretty easy um, and pretty nice, very soothing right up until this rain started. So uh, we will check back in in a little bit. 
Alright, we are about 11, 11 and a quarter miles in, and after walking up on that ridge, it's just been a pretty gentle downhill for, oh, I don't know, a mile or half two. And uh, coming up to the first structure here we've seen in a while. Cool little structure here. Like a shelter, I guess? What's in there? Nothing? This is trailing and stuff. A power box or is it just like an ammo can? Is there a trail ledger in there or something? Yeah, it's a log. Okay. Cool. So Cherry Springs something. Water cache. The fire ring. Checkerboard. And, uh, that's about it. Another structure down there. Not sure what that is either, but I don't know. We'll log in and we'll keep going. Alright. We are apparently almost halfway up cardiac climb. It probably doesn't look that steep on film. And realistically, it's not incredibly steep. It's just rather long. And it's rather long when we are carrying five days worth of food, which is less than ideal. But we're gonna keep pushing and I think once we get up to top here, it should be pretty flat for a while again. So that seems to be the way of it. Uh, we did end up getting rained on a little bit, not too bad, and now it's been pretty nice. It's cooling off and there's a little bit of a breeze and it has been raining a little, so that's good. Let's get to the top of this, shall we? Okay, made it up cardiac climb. Um, it wasn't too much worse the rest of the way, other than at about the three quarters mark, there was a blowdown, so I had to go off trail and that was pretty slick and a little more straight up the angle of elevation wasn't terrible on that it's just pretty long and pretty moderately inclined the whole time so that was uh it was a challenge but it wasn't quite as bad as i thought and now it's kind of leveled out here it's uh relatively flat. There's a nice breeze just sort of cooling down from the climb. Uh, might stop and take a break and get some water here. Eva's just a touch behind me. She kicks it into granny gear for the inclines and just maintains that pace whereas I walked a little bit faster and uh, took some breaks. So we each got our different methods but it is what it is. It's working for us. So uh, check in in a little bit. All right, we are just a little bit over 14 miles in, I think, and we are right that right there. I think is Cherry Springs Fire Tower, and about a quarter to half a mile before we got here, it just opened up pretty good. So we happened to come across this shelter area here. So we are gonna take a break and ride this out for a little bit. Um, and shout out to whoever from the Trail Association or the Parks and Rec folks or the DNR folks, there's been water caches all over the place. I mean, there's good flowing water too, but it's nice to be able to stop and take a rest and have water right there for you. So we, uh, we're gonna take a little rest, top up and see if this rain will stop before we try and get at least three more miles in. I think there's a couple of campsites we saw between 17 and 18. And then another one at 20 that's supposed to be right on the road. So we might call it at 17 or 18, depending on how we feel. But uh, I guess it depends on how long it rains for. Yeah. Teeny tiny frog friend. All right, we just passed the mile marker for number uh, mile 17 so we're about 17 and a half in for the day with the approach trail and we should be coming up on some 
campsites here in the next mile or so. Uh, I haven't recorded much since the uh, rain stopped because it's basically been this old forest road hiker highway. There hasn't been much going on. And then at about spitting distance from mile marker 14, I rolled my ankle pretty bad. The same one I rolled last year. So I, I don't know what happened. I was paying attention. I didn't have my headphones in. We weren't going crazy fast. It wasn't horrible terrain, but it was a little slick and there was some like leaves on the ground and some rocks and I don't know, I just stepped wrong and all of a sudden I was on the ground. So it's holding up okay. I have my ankle brace packed, so I will be wearing that tomorrow. And I don't know, we'll evaluate when I get to camp and see what I feel like tomorrow. Get some ibuprofen and get it up in the air. So check in when we get to camp. All right, it is quarter after seven. We've been in camp probably an hour, maybe just a touch more. Um, we got our set up. I am drying out some gear on the top of the tent um, from getting rained on a couple times today. Eva's got her tent set up over here. We have a nice stream right there. We we're just wrapping up dinner. We think we did right around 18 miles not 100 sure with, with, the, with the approach trail about 17 and a half uh sts miles but about 18 total for the day in our 140 and change mileage includes from the car to the car so good progress we're relatively on schedule if we hike this every day we will get back to the car on saturday and be able to get home with plenty of time. Um, the only issues we had today were getting rained on a couple times, which wasn't that bad, and I, the me rolling my ankle. Um, it's feeling okay. It's swollen. We'll see how it looks tomorrow. I might soak my foot in this river here and get some swelling down a little bit. Um, it was drizzling a little bit when we first got here, but it seems to have knocked that off, which is great. So I took some ibuprofen with dinner. Hopefully the ankle will be fine tomorrow. I will be putting the brace on. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it'll help. <clears throat> and then I think we still have another six miles of relative downhill before we hit, hit a climb again. So hopefully the morning will be nice and easy. We didn't have much in the way of steep descents this afternoon. Maybe like 30 yard sections. And even those were moderate. I would never call them steep. That one spot where we had a blowdown in the middle of the trail was annoying. But that was more wet and slippery than it was steep. It wasn't a steepness issue. Uh, so hopefully we'll ride that out in the morning and then we are supposed to get a little bit more of a roller coaster tomorrow uh starting tomorrow where we're going up and down and up and down so we'll see how it holds up hopefully tomorrow night we should be camping on the link trail the north link trail because i believe that hits at like uh, maybe just before it yeah right in the vicinity of that if we do 20 i think we'll be on it if we do 18, we'll be just before it. So we'll see how bad the elevation kicks our asses and how my ankle's holding up. Um, like I said, we're I'm staying positive, hoping it's gonna be fine. Um, so we're on track. We, we did the math and as long as we do 15 and change every day on average, we'll get back to the car Sunday. Eva took Monday off because she's smarter than me. So, <laughs> we can get back to my house Sunday night. She can crash on the couch um, and I can get up and get to work, start dealing with kiddos, um, who I'm sure I'll be missing like crazy by the end of this. So we should be in good shape. As long as I can keep my stupid ass upright, we'll be fine. Um, so we are just gonna wrap up dinner here and finish up camp chores and probably call it an early night. All right, welcome back to Trail Food Trials, episode three. 
So the intent on this trip is to do battle pad thai. So today's first contender is backpacker pantry. I think we have four total uh, contenders this time. Backpacker's pantry, mountain house, alpine air, and good to go, I believe. So stats on this one, it is two cups of water, 20 minute, um, 15 to 20 minute rest time. I'll put the price up on screen, it's pretty standard. And then in terms of process, heat the, there was a packet of peanut butter that I squeezed into the main package. Then I added the water and then I am supposed to add sriracha powder, which appears to not have an opening or a tear spot, which is something. That's a choice they made. And then peanuts, which also does not have that. So stand by while I go get a knife. So we've rested for 15 minutes. I stirred about halfway through. It doesn't say to do that, but I pretty much always do. Dumping in all the sriracha powder. I tend to like spicy food. And that goes. There is a packet of lime. This one opens on its own. In that goes. Add lime and sriracha to taste. I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up even though it doesn't say to. It says on the bag adding all of the powder is like medium at a Thai restaurant, but every Thai restaurant is different, so we'll see. And then add the peanuts on top, it says. So originally I wasn't going to mark this down for difficulty because it was put this in first, put everything else in at the end, but not having little tear strips on those packets is definitely a pain in the butt. So I'm going to probably knock that down to a three out of five on ease because it was annoying. It's not hard. It's not super tedious. It's just annoying. All right. Here we go. It's pretty good. I would not call that medium spicy at a Thai restaurant, but maybe I did a poor job stirring it in. The lime is really nice. The peanuts add a lot of texture. There's some tofu and some chicken in here. The texture is actually really good. The Rice noodles are a little bit thinner than I'm used to, but that's probably for ease of rehydration. It doesn't really put the texture off at all. I would give this probably a 4.75 on texture. Four and a half on texture. Flavor. Probably a four and a half. This is pretty good. Yeah, I would say four and a half. The lime is a really nice touch. There's a little heat. It could use some more in my opinion, but I did bring my own hot sauce. I could add to it if I need to. Um, 
the noodles rehydrated really well. The tofu and the chicken are good texture. Yeah, all around, this is a win. I would be happy eating this repeatedly. So, uh, all the final stats should be up here. And we will see how our next contender does tomorrow night. Every night. Oh, one last thing before we go. Interesting story. We started off this trip a little bit uh, with a little bit of a hiccup. Eve got to my house on time. We left my house about 4 o'clock. The plan was to drive to Cleveland and stay in a hotel. We booked the hotel like a month plus in advance. Should have been fine. Figured we'll do that and then we'll get up nice and early and get out to the trail mid-morning. Well, we get to the hotel and the security guard informs us that the hotel is not open to the public, which was very weird because I had two confirmation emails in the previous 36 hours with confirmation numbers. But apparently I booked through hotels.com instead of through travelodgebywindom.com, whatever that website would be. And there was a disconnect. And so we got there and there was no there there. So, uh, we got back in the car and while I drove towards the trail, Eva did some frantic Googling and we ended up staying, getting the last room at this little one-off local hotel in James, Jamesville, Jameston, I don't know, uh, in New York, Jamesburg, I don't know. And so we made it in there about 9, 9.30, crashed, got up about 7 this morning checked out, grabbed some Tim Hortons guest up, and then uh, we stepped off about 10, 10 this morning. So it ended up working out. It was, it was just an interesting way to start the trip, but we figured it out. All right, I will uh, see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is Sunday, July 4th. Happy Independence Day. It is just after 7. We are finishing up breakfast, grabbing some coffee, finishing packing up and we'll be hitting the trail here pretty soon last night was pretty good once we got in it was a little damp a little chilly at like the late hours of the night early hours of the morning and it was yeah clammy and then there were a couple of fireworks in the distance I guess to be expected I thought we'd be far enough into public land to not deal with them but oh well uh we got about nine-ish miles into Old Bull State Park, where I think we're going to target lunch. So uh, we'll hit the trail here pretty soon and check in later. All right, just got started here this morning and trail mile 18 right there. So it's uh, pretty nice this morning. It's a little cool. It's a little damp. A um, little bit of a breeze, but by a little bit cool, it's probably like, I don't know, high 50s, low 60s. So once you get moving, it's perfect. Um, ankles feeling okay. I did put the brace on this morning. Um, it's moving pretty well. Took some more vitamin I before we left camp as well. And now we're just walking on another one of these hiker highways, old forest roads. Pretty uh, even footing great up and down has been real nice so we will uh, keep going and get a start on this morning still up here on this old forest road but beautiful view here of this river I'm assuming this is the same river stream that we camped on last night and if I think of it I'll put the name of it on screen after I look it up but really cool really peaceful coming up off of this road. I'm gonna take a right and look at how cool that is with the mist up there. Also blue skies. Looks like we might get a decent one today. Be nice to dry out a little bit of damp stuff. All right, keep on. Just turned off of that little road walk and you wanna talk about green tunnel. Well, that's really nice beautiful little water feature along this, but this is literally a tunnel. Nowhere to blaze. I'm having to duck every once in a while. It's kind of neat. Meadow over there. So must be skirting along private property or something, but kind of cool. All right, we're 
we're about 20-ish miles in, and we have the uh, Cross Fork Footbridge. So, thank you to the uh, Potter County Trailblazers, because uh, I don't want to get wet right now. Let's see if we can get up here. Oh yeah. Look at how cool this is. I guess is that's what you used to have to cross on and now we get this fun bouncy bridge very cool the trail community for this trail seems to be amazing water caches pretty decent job blazing a bunch of these little bridges great job folks wonderful about 20 to 10 and we are at trail mile marker 23 so we're about 23 and a half in for the trip that should put us at about five ish for the day just a little over I'm on this steady ramp of an incline it's been a pretty good morning it looks beautiful but we've been under the canopy all day and it's actually been a little chilly. I bet if we were out in the sun it'd be nice, but it's a little chilly and a little damp, but the terrain's been pretty good. All the grade has been pretty uh, steady, but not steep, I would say. And it hasn't been too rocky or uneven, so ankles holding up good, feet are holding up good, legs are holding up good. Um, a lot of cool bridges. Crossing the same body of water like seven or eight times is a little bit annoying. But other than that, it's been good. So we'll get to the top of this hill and maybe we'll take a little break. All right, made it to the top of the hill. We are at uh, Hungry Hollow, I guess, according to the sign right over here. And we are about to turn onto a road, but I thought after that almost mile climb, I would stop and take a break and have a snack. And so Trail Food Trials episode four, the uh, peanut butter challenge. So this is trail butter and the flavor is maple syrup and sea salt almond cashew butter blend. Um, these are $2. They are 200 calories. So a penny per calorie. Obviously they take no time. They take no water. Uh, we'll go from there. Tear strip opens very easily. Five out of five on ease. Hmm. Hmm. Texture wise, it's okay. Um, the almonds are not completely like pasted into butter, so there's still some chunks, or maybe that's the sea salt. Mm, maybe a little bit of both. I'm not in love with it. I'd probably say, I don't know, it's about average. I'd say two and a half on um, texture. Flavor-wise, I could use a little more of that maple syrup to balance out the nuts, but it's it's pretty good, I'd say.
I'd say about a three and a half, maybe a three, seven, five, mm, probably three and a half, but it's a nice change from bars. It's not too thick. It doesn't stick to the roof of your mouth too bad or in between your teeth. It's easy to get out of the tube. So yeah, it's a win. We'll see how it compares to the other flavors. I'm gonna finish this up and get back on the trail. Quarter after 11, and it seems as though we've made it to Old Bull State Park. So we are gonna, yep, Old Bull, there it is. We're gonna find a place to rest and eat and maybe look for some vending machines and uh, take a rest. All right, I made it to Old Bull State Park for lunch. So episode two, part two, trail food trials, Green Belly Bar. This one is mango, cashew, coconut, 665 calories. Let's see how it is. Thank you. I like it better than the apricot peanut butter one. You do? Yeah. But I don't like peanut butter, so I'm biased. Fair enough. It's good. I think I like the apricot peanut butter, but I'm not a huge coconut fan. I'd say it's probably still like a three and a half. It's fine. Um, the texture I don't like as much. It's a little bit denser. And there's... What I do like is it seems like there's more whole nuts in here, which is kind of cool, but it could be a little more, it's a little dry. Uh, and with that, plus the whole nuts, it can be kind of tough to chew through. So texture, I'd say probably two and a half, just like a perfectly average bar. Um, yeah, obviously no water, no time, five out of five ease. Um, with the price and cost per calorie up, it's probably the exact same as last time. So, second place so far, and we'll uh, continue on with this tomorrow. All right, just nearing the end of the climb out of Old Bull State Park. It's uh, not terribly steep, but it's not exactly short. Trail marker, mile 28. I'm uh, pretty sweaty, but I'm holding up. I think we got a downhill coming here soon, and then another climb after that, so could be a long afternoon. We'll see. At least the sun's out when it peaks through. We'll keep going. Just did the uphill and then came down the accompanying descent, and there's this little stream right here and it's really peaceful so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, camel up get some water to carry out drink some here and then uh, keep pushing because I think I'm about to go back up as soon as we cross this so, doing pretty well We've got about 12 or 13 miles in so far today and it's not even 130 so it's pretty good uh, targeting to get onto the North Link Trail, I think, is what we decided at lunch. Spend the night there. There's supposed to be some equestrian camps um, with fire rings and tables and stuff. That would be really nice to have. So we'll see, and we'll see what's taken when we get there. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this water filtered and head on. Alright, made it to 12 Mile Road after that climb, which kicked my ass a little bit. Third climb of the day. It's a little bit steeper than the last ones. Not quite as long, but I was, I'm smoked. I'm gonna hang out on this 
road walk for a minute, put my trekking poles up, drink some extra water, and uh, probably have a cliff bar. Uh, I'm not sure where we are mileage, somewhere in the 31 mile marker range, 32 for the trip, I think. Uh, we'll keep going regardless. It's a little bit before 2.30, and I made it to Spook Hollow Shelter. Uh, it's an Adirondack-type shelter, and it's pretty cool. You can see they've got some chairs in here, some water bottles that look empty, some cooking stuff, an actual two-and-a-half-person tent for emergencies, some a saw and some cutters for... Uh, the fire pit here and a pretty nice spot to put tents if uh, you were going to camp here. We're probably going to keep going so I am going to fill out the log, adjust my boots and then probably keep going. Uh, it looks like we're about a mile from the North Link Trail at this point um, so I might just wait for Eva to catch up. She always catches me on the downhills anyways. Uh, and then we'll get, start game planning where we're going to take a break and crash for the night. Just past the 32 mile marker and hit our first red blazes. And there is a sign somewhere over here, right there, that says NLT. So we are going to venture off onto the North Link Trail. This thing's not marked very well, so could be an adventure, but we'll figure it out. So it's just about five o'clock and we hit this little gravel road. I think we're about three and a half or four miles into the North Link Trail. So we're coming up on about halfway, and uh, I am not having the best day. I uh, accidentally left my camera gimbal at camp last night, and I thought about it when we were leaving, and I was like, uh, it must be in my bag. We would see it. No, not in my bag. And then I heard a thump walking the trail, and I turned around and looked, I didn't see anything, but my three liter dirty water bag, which was full, fell out. So I have my filter and Eva has two two liter bags, but just having a day. So get some water and keep going and see if we can find a place to camp. Okay, so we filtered water. We've got an extra two liters of dirty water. So I've got three liters of clean and Eva's got and a half clean and then we have about two that are dirty and we realized while we were there that the the trail's been marked with both red and yellow and there's no rhyme or reason and supposedly the north Lake trail is red but there was a turn on the yellow one and we just assumed that we kept following the red and Nope, should have turned on the yellow. Uh, so that's fun. So we're gonna backtrack about half a mile, find the trail again, and hopefully find some place to camp. All right, so we made it back to where we believe the trail is. Here's the turn signal for the yellow trail, and there's a trail down here. Hit that if you're going backwards. So on we go. Okay. There's a red blaze right there that we found after coming down on that blue, yellow blaze turn signal. There's no trail, and then there are yellow blaze there that you cannot see from the red blaze because of all of this. What a mess. There is blueberries, so you know, as long as you don't mind bushwhacking, there is that. See if we can find an actual trail again here. All right, those blazes sucked, and now we're back on the other side. We're pretty sure we're on trail. 
and it's double blazed red and yellow. I don't know what they think they're doing, but if those are the things, we need some trail maintenance out here. So we're gonna start looking for camp, ideally someplace with water, since I lost my water bag, but we'll see what we find. Okay, it's about eight o'clock. We, we turned on the Spruce Trail, which is another section of the crosslink. There's been no campsites anywhere. And Spruce Trail is all climb, like all climb. And we were smoked. We ended up doing like, I don't know, maybe 24 miles today, 24 and a quarter according to the GPS. I don't know how many trail miles because we did some bonus mileage. Um, so we found the first flat place we could stop and we stopped. So that's where we are. But nevertheless, trail food trials goes on. Today's contestant is good to go pad thai. This one does not have chicken. It has a shrimp sauce with American shrimp sauce and peanuts. So I have to add the peanut packet here, which I cannot tell if it has a tear strip or not. We'll find out. And then uh, I will eat and get back to you. But this one is 500 milliliters of water, 870 calories, 15 minute time wait. There was no first step, just add the garnish at the end. Um, I don't have the price or cost per calorie, but I will put them up. So let me get this uh, situated and try it and I'll come back. Okay, so I didn't have to get the knife out to open the peanut package, so that's good. Give it a 4.75 out of five for different ease. Um, texture's okay, it's not great. It's a little more gelatinous for better, not really gelatinous, I don't know. It's just kind of all mixed together. I probably could have maybe added a little more water. I don't know. Um, texture, I mean, it's, I don't know. It's average. I'd say it's probably a, maybe a two and a half, 2.25. Yeah, probably 2.25. Um, flavor wise, it's, it's not nearly as good as last night's. Um, the peanut, without the peanut sauce additive, it doesn't come through. Uh, I'm really find myself missing the lime. Um, and there's no spice to this at all. I'm gonna have to try and find my hot sauce and add some. Um, so I would say flavor wise, I don't know, it's not bad. It's just not good. I give it a three. Yeah, I guess that about covers it. Definitely. Um, even with the extra steps, I would go with the backpacker's pantry over this. Especially this doesn't even have any chicken or tofu in it that I can tell at this point. It's just noodles. Which is interesting because it has a lot more calories. But that's what that's what it says. So uh, we'll get back with you tomorrow. Good morning. It is 8 o'clock and we are back on the trail. Uh... Our campsite last night, whoop, and it died. Uh, our campsite last night was not the ideal. We made it work, uh, no water, and it was pretty tight spacing for our tents. Um, ate and pretty much crashed, slept pretty decent. Uh, bad news is I'm more or less out of water until we find a crossing. Um, Eva hooked me up with a half liter. Uh, good news, I found the gimbal. It was in my pack, despite the fact that I looked for it like four times. I thought I lost my buff in my tent last night, and when I was ripping through everything trying to find it, I found the gimbal. So, that's good. Did not find the dirty water bag. I'm gonna have to, if we go through a town here tomorrow, probably, I'm gonna have to see if I can buy one at Slate Run or pick up a couple of one liter smart water bottles that I can at least use as dirty, something like that. Um, 
but we're making do. I uh, had a pretty good sized blister on the toe, big toe of my right foot because my right ankle wasn't playing nice with my boot and I was compensating and I didn't stop to treat it. Always a mistake, but it happens. Um, yeah, yesterday was long and frustrating. It was a really great day until we couldn't figure out where the fuck we were supposed to go. Wasted a bunch of time, lost the water bag, and then ended it with that climb, which realistically wasn't any worse than any of the other climbs we did. I just wasn't ready for it and I was done and I didn't expect it and I was tired. So, cause we probably could have pressed on another mile and gotten to water, but we don't know what is where anywhere for campsites. And Eva jogged a like quarter mile up the trail and didn't see anything better. So we just stuck where we were, which realistically was probably the right call because it was getting late. We were cranky, we were tired. We were gonna be prone to making mistakes. So we just called it. Um, got up, slept pretty good, got up, had some breakfast. Did not have coffee because I didn't have enough water. So I'm gonna have to get some Mio with caffeine here pretty soon when we get to water. Um, other than that, we should be on the Black Forest Trail by, I don't know, early mid morning. I think we only got maybe three miles left. So that'll be exciting. Other than that, we'll just take it as she comes. All right, 8.30, about a half an hour after we left. And made it to this first uh, equestrian campsite that I was talking about the other day. It looks like there's another one over here. And then there's the road here. And it looks like there's a couple ways we can go from here, so I'm gonna hang out and wait for Eva and drink a little bit of water. We did, I did go past the stream, but it was pretty uh, buggy right there. I didn't feel like waiting for Eva right there when I think we're gonna cross it on a road. So we'll just hang tight and uh, we'll step off in a little bit. 9.30, I think we're just about to meet up with the Black Forest Trail and there's this beautiful stream behind us. So I'm gonna stop here, wait for Eva camel up and then uh hopefully we'll be meeting up with the black forest trail soon so we'll see how that goes uh this north link trail is pretty frustrating it needs some definite trail maintenance tons of blowdowns blazings are questionable they change color all the time a lot of times they're on these red blazed multi-use equestrian trails but then sometimes they're yellow and it's not really clear when you do what. I guess if there's any question, take the yellow. But um, I don't know if I would recommend this trail, honestly. This last section was pretty arrow straight, which is nice. It just kind of went up and then back down, but there was a ton of blowdowns, a ton of mud and a ton of horse poop. So it is what it is. Anyways, I'm gonna get a drink and uh, take a break. Okay, we stopped there for a couple minutes at that stream watered up, splashed a little bit across the stream, and now we are officially on the Black Forest Trail, back on some orange blazes.